the Asaram case is a case where a God man who considers himself a reincarnation of God himself on earth has been accused of raping a 16 year old girl. This is not the only case he has been accused of. There are other cases. The rape of the two sisters in Surat, where the modus operandi is shockingly similar. Large land grabs in Surat on the Sabramati Ashram area. Intimidation, rape, rape of a minor, and so on. It goes on. There is a long list of things against Asaram. We would call him Bapu because that would suggest that we respect him. Right now with me is PC Solanki, the victim's lawyer in this particular case. And I want to remind our viewers that this is a shocking case. Nine witnesses out of this case were attacked, were either stabbed or shot at or had acid thrown in their faces. Three out of those nine witnesses died. The family was under constant threat. We've had reports of the fact that the police was being threatened, the judges were being threatened for their lives through the course of this entire case. Mr. Solanki joins us right now. Mr. Solanki, how optimistic are you tomorrow of getting a guilty verdict? Uh, I'm very hopeful that certainly the victim will get justice and uh, we all, I mean the whole victim family as well as uh, uh, um, personally myself and uh, even the prosecution are very hopeful that we will get a very good verdict tomorrow. Mr. Saki, it's been a roller coaster ride for you and your team this entire case. There have been reports through the course of this case mm -hmm. of a Sessions judge who said he received threats of dire consequences if he did not grant bail to this individual, Asaram. The police have said that the SHO in charge of security was receiving threats. Uh, there have been several threats that have been dealt to the victim's family as well. Could you tell us some of the instances that the family has had to go through over the last several years? Uh yeah, the uh, position of entire victim family is really very, uh, very shocking because, you know, uh, when the trial was going on, then the presiding officer has also received certain letters from uh, the outsiders, uh, probably maybe uh, the Asaram followers or someone else because I can't say anything uh, so uh, in, in a precise manner that uh, who wrote those letters, but ultimately the presiding officer received uh, those letters uh, uh, giving threatening to him and even uh, the witnesses have also been threatened and uh, one witness was also stabbed on 13th of February 2015 mm -hmm. in the court premise itself named Rahul Sachan. Thereafter, another witness who after deposing before the court, Mahendra Chawla, he was also sought uh, at Panipat, but, uh, but uh, by grace of God or uh, say uh, he, he was, he, he, uh, uh, another witness uh, named Kripal Singh was also sought at uh, Sanjapur on uh, after evidence on uh, 10th of July 2015 and he was also killed. So the entire tactics of the whole uh, accused uh, was simply to mount a pressure upon the uh, uh, witnesses and also upon the counsels representing the victim so that they cannot, uh, so they should not appear before the, uh, from their side before the court and they should not, they should either leave this case or uh, something else. But ultimately one thing which I would like to say is uh, the, uh, all these tactics which uh, was played by, uh, which has been played by the accused side uh, has turned futile. Mr. Salaki, initially in the initial days of this case, there were accusations also of the police in Rajasthan going easy on Asarab. They issued a summons instead of actually uh, um, arresting him. They gave him several days to turn himself in. Do you believe that the police was also, maybe higher political powers were attempting to shield him in the beginning of this case? Uh, yes, but uh, listen, actually the moment this particular case was registered at Mahila Police Station West, thereafter, uh, after recording the uh, statements of the victim and her parents, uh, police issued certain uh, notices to accuse Asaram. Initially, actually, he refused to uh, accept those notices. And finally, when these all those notices were served upon him, then it was a very big task for the Jodhpur police to uh, interrogate him or to arrest him. And finally, uh, after playing a very big game, uh, ac ac accused Asaram was arrested from Indore. And do you believe you have enough of a, enough evidence in this case right now to be able to get a maximum sentence? 
Yes, yes. Uh, I can say certainly that we have very strong, trustworthy, reliable evidence available on the record so as to prove the charges of rape as well as the, uh, the charges labeled under the provisions of POXO. Right, and Mr. Salanki, we know that uh, you know, all of uh, Jodhpur is being turned into a fortress for tomorrow with the kind of security that is being provided. Is this because the police assume that the supporters in some way are going to cause trouble? Uh, yes, police has taken uh, 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 this task very seriously and uh, the entire security uh, of the, the whole of the city is under control. So I don't think that any mishappening will take place tomorrow because police has taken every care of every, uh, I mean, uh, a large number of police personnel are deployed everywhere. Just say after, after 10 to 15 meters you will find the police personnel and they are also uh, patrolling uh, uh, from each corner of the city and they are also keeping an eye over uh, the activities of the followers of the Asarams at Ashram and other places. So I don't think that uh, uh, anything untoward will happen tomorrow. Well, you know, Mr. Salanki, I must appreciate the hard work you have done because it has been a huge battle for you. We know that uh, very, very eminent lawyers like Mr. Ramjit Malani, uh, you know, uh, Mr. Subramani Swami have actually fought this case against you. He has had access to the highest, uh, you know, reaches of political power. He's made even uh, some of his, uh, you know, representatives in, in court have said that the girl is mentally ill. And that is the problem, bringing questions to, you know, her mental state. But uh, what was your reaction fighting through this case and fighting those very eminent lawyers? Uh, yes, it was a great opportunity for me to... Uh, have this particular case particularly to uh, represent the victim because right from day first when I filed my uh, power uh, before the High Court when uh, Mr. Ramjit Malani appeared so as to argue the bail application of accused Asanam after his arrest and after filing of the charge sheet. So uh, actually uh, it was a great moment for me because uh, I was uh, just appearing against Asaram, uh, against Ramjit Malani and uh, the moment he argued before the court uh, immediately, uh, I made a request to the Honorable Court after conclusion of his arguments that I would also like to address this Honorable Court on certain legal grounds as advanced by him. And the most important ground which was taken by him was that uh, it is settled proposition of law that the medical examination cannot be done without there being an FIA. So actually, uh, just uh, to uh, counter that particular argument, uh, I, I simply made a submission before the Honorable Court that either he has not gone through the provisions of POXO or he is deliberately concealing uh, the provisions adumbrated under Section 27 of the POXO because Section 27 of the POXO uh, clearly states that the uh, victim can be medically examined without there being uh, an FIR. So just after going through the provisions of uh, Section 27, actually he had no word to say about uh, uh, on this particular point and even when the Subramanian Swami appeared for uh, arguing the bail application of uh, Asaram before the London Trial Court it was really again a very interesting story because uh, when he appeared before the court then he said that I am uh, I have appeared before Honorable Supreme Court and various high courts and I, I, and I have disclosed many mysteries in this country and many governments have been toppled down and uh, there is no impediment with regard to my appearance as a pleader and he also relied upon a judgment of Honorable Supreme Court rendered in the case of Harishan Karastogis. So, and he said that there is a judgment of Honorable Supreme Court without disclosing the uh, title of the case. Then I said, are you relying upon judgment of Harishan Karastogis case, sir? Then he said, yes, so you are aware. Then I said, yes, I am aware about the judgment. Then he said that there is no problem. Then I said, yes, of course, there is no problem with regard to the judgment, but what proposition of law Honorable Supreme Court has said, has laid down, that is, that, that is a, a point to argue. Then he started his argument and immediately I raised an objection before the court that uh, he, this particular gentleman is having no locus to argue the bail application because in terms of that particular judgment of Honorable Supreme Court, which was rendered in the case of Harishankar Rastogi's case, uh, the Honorable Supreme Court has said that whenever an accused wants to get his case, pleaded by a person who is not an advocate, then accused has to uh, make a move a motion before the court and court will decide whether to grant permission or not. And even if permission has been granted, then court can withdraw that permission. And in fact, the Subramanian Swamiji was not aware about this fact that no such 
a request was ever made by accused Asaram either in writing or verbally uh, to the Honorable Court that he wants to get his bail argued by Mr. Subraman Swami. Then uh, he called uh, Asaram from the jail and then they wrote an application before the court uh, just seeking the permission that I want to get my bail uh, argued by Mr. Subraman and Swami and all that. So it was again uh, a very uh, interesting aspect ki, uh, 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 just, to, just to impress the court that there is no impediment and all that but uh, uh, ultimately uh, that bail application was also rejected. So uh, it was a yes, great victory yes. for us because everybody was of the view that uh, since Subramanian Swamiji has appeared and there is every possibility of uh, grant of bail but uh, right. ultimately that effort has also turned futile.